I think it's anything when you lose a, a starter, you're always, uh, you know, with the next man. The nice thing is we had what we consider three starters, you know, uh, between between those those guys that we have in there. And the two guys now are just going to probably end up having maybe a few more reps and, and we'll get Mark Robb and, and get him ready to go. Uh, but I think because we had what we thought were three starters, we're good. We, we feel pretty confident in the, in the situation. What was unique about what Cole did compared to maybe what Quan or Alandon are able to do for you? I just think because he carried the green dot most of the time, that was you know that was a pretty good thing. And one thing I think that, that Cole really is is a really good communicator, um, not just in the huddle, but like when he comes off the field and different things like that. So, uh, and I think those other guys will take up that slack. How familiar with you with Quan uh, when he was coming in? before he got here? Just nothing, just know he's, you know, you know, across the league, you know a good player when you see one, and you knew uh, that he was a good football player, and, uh, but, you know, until you get him in the room and get a chance to deal with him personality-wise and see what kind of guy they are, you know, you never know, and he's seemed, been good. It seemed like he was on quite a track. I mean, all-rookie, Pro Bowl third year before he had that knee injury. Mm -hmm. Are you starting to see that guy again? Oh, absolutely. I think he's a fine football player. He makes some big plays for us. Obviously, the interception uh, to end the game last week. He had a fumble pause the week before, and he's just trending upward. His, his play is getting better and better as the season goes, and that's kind of what you expect from a, a veteran guy and then a guy who's, who's a really good football player.